God freely created us so that we might know love and serve him in this life and be happy with him forever God's purpose in creating us is to draw forth from us a response of love and service here on earth so that we may attain our goal of everlasting happiness with him in heaven such was the ideologies of the famous spanish priest and theologian saint ignatius of loyola who founded the jesuit order in 1534 and was one of the most influential figure in the counter reformation ad majorem de gloriam means for the greater glory of god that is those who see us at our best sees god's glory is the motto of the jesuits also known as the society of jesus the jesuit vision encourages students to seek the divine in all things in all people and cultures in all areas of study and learning and in every human experience studying in one such missionary school run by the jesuit priests i shishe and my co-host anusha would like to welcome you dear parents teachers and all my dear friends to join us for the feast day celebration of the great philosopher and philanthropist saint ignatius of loyola saint ignatius of loyola inigo lopez de loyola who later took the name ignatius was the youngest son of a nobleman of the mountainous basque region of northern spain when ignatius was born in 1491 the middle ages were just ending and europe was entering into the renaissance so ignatius was a man on the edge of the two worlds trained in the courtly manners in the time of king ferdinand he dreamt of glories of knighthood and wore his sword and breastplate with a proud arrogance in an attempt in 1521 to defend the spanish border fortress of pamplona against the french artillery inigo's right leg was shattered by a cannon ball his french captors impressed by inigo's courage carried him on a litter across spain to his family home at loyola where he began the long period of convalescence ignatius was beatified on july 27 1609 and canonized by pope gregory 15 on march 12 1622 together with saint francis xavier ignatius feast day is celebrated worldwide on 31st july the day he died in the year 1556 this year we are celebrating 500 years of his transformation from a common man to a saint the lighting of the lamp symbolizes the illumination and elucidation of the darkness in one's mind therefore we begin today's program with the lighting of the lamp to dispel the darkness around us to do the honor may i call upon our principal sir gt kennedy mr amir chatterjee our senior vice principal miss manisha our junior section coordinator miss angela our senior most teacher and our dear friend akriti I would also request sir to garland the portrait of Saint Ignatius of Loyola. Thank you all for your kind gesture. And now here we have with us a group of students paying tribute to the great soul through their dance performance.
lovely performance before proceeding further let us invoke the blessings of the almighty who has made this day possible with a meaningful prayer service by the students which will be followed by a hymn dear god would you give our political leaders wisdom discernment and strength keep them healthy safe and rested so that they can guide us through this time give our government leaders wisdom on how to stop the virus and stabilize our economy give our medical leaders insight into how to stop the virus strengthen their resolve and honor their hard work in creating a treatment for covid-19 lord hear our prayer lord jesus christ Eternal high priest you offered yourself to the father on the altar of the cross and through the outpouring of the holy spirit gave your priestly people a share in your redeeming sacrifice hear our prayer for the sanctification of our priests grant that all who are ordained to the ministerial priesthood may be ever more conformed to you the divine master may they preach the gospel with pure heart and clear conscience let them be shepherds according to your own heart single minded in service to you and to the church and shining examples of a holy simple and joyful life in a special way bless our director reverend father michael fandandus sj and guide him to take the ship in a right direction lord hear our prayer Lord bless the teachers who gave their heart to teaching thank you for the special gift that you have given them and for giving them a spirit of grace and compassion may they have strength and endurance to perform their many tasks and may they know and feel the deep gratitude of those whom they teach lord hear our prayer Lord 
Thank you for the unique gifts of every child as they transition into a new school year. Fill each student with fresh enthusiasm and a heart that is excited to learn and grow. Cover them with your enduring love. Give them confidence and grace and equip them with the ability to continue through their trials. Lord, hear our prayer. is a matter of honor and pride for all of us. It instills in us the great Ignatian values, that is, finding God in all things, cura personalis, or care for the whole persons. Majus means more, that is, commitment to excellence, promoting justice, respect for other faiths, care for the environment, and men and women for and with others. I hereby consider it to be my pleasure and honor to invite the director of the Nobly Schools, Father Michael P. Fernandez SJ, to enlighten us on the importance of this day. Respected principal, teachers, students, and parents, the Nobly Schools are managed by the Society of Jesus, and St. Ignatius of Loyola was the founder of this congregation. The Society of Jesus, popularly known as Jesuits, the Society of Jesus and the Ignatian family worldwide celebrate this year as Ignatian year, marking and celebrating the 500th anniversary of the crippling cannonball injury St. Ignatius of Loyola incurred at the Battle of Pampelona on May 20th, 1521. It was an important failure for him in the way he had imagined his future. Full of courtly riches and worldly exploits. However, this apparent failure was in actually the beginning of a profound conversion that led St. Ignatius to dream bigger, no longer self-centered but rather God-centered. It helped St. Ignatius to see all things new in Christ, to see all things new in divine and to make this world a better place to live in. 
As we celebrate Ignatian year and his feast today, I would like to address collaboration in mission. Our principals, our teachers, support staff and parents. We may be from different beliefs or human convictions, but to participate in the same struggle of life. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown us how vulnerable we are. We need divine guidance and divine grace to face the chaos of the world. We hope to follow that like of St. Ignatius and his foundational experience with the divine and participate in the mission of reconciling all things in that of divine. To reconcile with the divine to make this world a better place to live in, many of you feel a deep commitment to this inspiration, to charism that gives life to the society of Jesus. I thank God for the gift of you individually for us and your closeness with the Dinobili schools. May this Ignatian year help us to bring closer to divine and in and through his grace we strive to make this world a better place to live in. To young people, our student I say, we have been experiencing the COVID-19 pandemic which changed our lives, affected our lives and affected our lives. We are experiencing a different world together. Dear children, we want to learn to accompany you. We want to learn from you. Each one of you is unique, born with a special purpose. Saint Ignatius struggled to discover the meaning of his life. In him, you can find inspiration as you struggle to make your life meaningful. And as you ask how you can contribute to building a better world where the dignity of people is respected and where you live in joy-filled harmony with the nature, I express our desire to accompany you through what we do and especially through who we are people willing to share our time, our dreams, our hopes. We together bring positivity like that of St. Ignatius brought to this world. And together, we can make this world a better place to live in. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for that enlightening speech. Music is an important part of our life, as it is a way of expressing our feelings as well as emotions. It is a means of expressing our happiness and joy. Now, let's tap our feet to this musical number presented by a group of vibrant and exceptionally talented students.
to him, he will answer us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our hands, he will lift us up. Come now praise his name, all you saints of God. Draw near to him, he is here with us. Give him your love, he's in love with us. He will heal our hearts, he will cleanse our hearts. If we rend our hearts, he will heal our land. Yes, we will. For sing for joy to God our strength. For sing for joy to God. I now request our Honorable Principal, Sir G. Thomas Kennedy, to give his message for the day. With our hearts full of joy, today we are celebrating the feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Society of Jesus. St. Ignatius was born in 1491 in the Basque province of Spain. Till his 30th year, he did not give much importance to the things of God. He was absurd in the winning of honor as soldier and courtier under the great Emperor Charles V. In 1521, while fighting against the French army at the Battle of Babylonia, St. Ignatius was hit by a cannonball on his right leg and he was seriously wounded. While recuperating, he requested a book on chivalry. Instead, he received the books on life of Jesus and lives of saints. The books on the life of Jesus changed his life completely. He embraced poverty and began to compose the spiritual exercise. He decided to become a priest and began his studies for priesthood. In 1522, he traveled to Paris to study philosophy and theology in the renowned University of Paris. And he met other students like Francis Xavier and Peter Faber, who were captivated by Ignatius' experience of God. On 15th August 1534, Ignatius and his friends professed the vows of poverty chastity and obedience, and they resolved to put themselves at the disposal of Pope for whatever works they might be judged fit. The Society of Jesus was born in 1540 and it was approved by Pope Paul III. The greater glory of God was the motto of the Society of Jesus, St. Ignatius sent Francis Xavier to India. St. Ignatius collected his insights, prayers and suggestions and compiled them into a book named The Spiritual Exercises. One of the most influential books on the spiritual life ever written. On 31st July 1556, he left for his heavenly abode to sit with his master Jesus. His death anniversary is celebrated as his feast day. The year 2021-22 is observed as the Ignatian year commemorating the fifth centenary celebration of his conversion from being a soldier into a servant of God. As we are solemnly celebrating his feast today, let us imbibe the Ignatian value of love kindness, generosity, and compassion in our life and ask ourselves, what am I doing for God and what more can I do for God? I wish you all 
a happy feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring words, which will help us be men and women for and with others. The journey of life is full of ups and downs, and which teaches us the life lessons. It helps us to transform from just human to humane. For a better understanding of this concept, let us move on to the next segment of our program, where some of our young and dynamic students will present a skit on the complete metamorphosis of Saint Ignatius from his knighthood to sainthood. Hey David, today is a special day for us nobilians. Have you heard about the Society of Jesus? Kathy, I have heard about them. They are a society within the Catholic Church. The Society of Jesus, more commonly known as the Jesuits. The order was started by Saint Ignatius of Loyola. Yes, he is remembered as a talented spiritual director. He recorded his methods in widely renowned spiritual exercises. A simple set of prayers, meditation, and mental exercises. Inigo Lopez was born in 1492 in a small village called Loyola. He was a member of the local aristocracy and was raised accordingly. He was an ambitious young man who had dreams of becoming a great leader. While working as page for the treasurer of the castle, he developed a taste for materialistic things of the world. Now, he has changed his name from Inigo to Ignatius. He later became a soldier in the Spanish army. Ignatius had won many battles for the Spanish army when he got terribly wounded in his fight against the French. The cannonballs had shattered his legs and the bones were protruding out. But as always, Ignatius was a brave man. Your leg has finally started healing. And we think you will be able to start walking in a few days time. That's wonderful, doctor. But I'm afraid one of your legs is shorter than the other one. So you'll have a slight limp while walking but don't worry your leg will heal soon and you will be able to walk properly have faith in god sister can you do me a favor you know it's quite boring to lie down here with nothing else to do can you get me some books to read sure the sister gave ignatius two books one was the life of Christ and the other was a collection of saint stories. Hope you like these books and get well soon. The book Life of Christ inspired Ignatius for years to come. Then he read the other book on saints. He was struck by the sacrifices made by the saints in the service of God. What? am I doing with my life? These people did just so much good with their time on earth. And me? What have I done so far? As Ignatius continued to read, God's peace filled his heart and assured him that he was on the right path. By the spring of 1522, Ignatius had recovered to leave the bed. Then he went to the Benedictine monastery and laid down his weapons and his armors. He surrendered himself to the Lord. Thank you for showing me the way. Ignatius was then a changed man and spent his time in the service of mankind. He started working in a hospital helping patients. He even begged for his food in order to live in poverty. When he was not working or begging, 
He used to go in the cave and practice spiritual exercises. He got the better understanding of God and God's plan for him. Ignatius wanted to become a priest. In those days, Mass was held in Latin. So, in order to learn Latin, he sat in a classroom with 10-year-old students. Realizing age is no bar for learning, he completed his studies and mastered Latin. In Paris, he met two most important people in his life who would help him to build the Order of Jesuits. He became friends with Peter Favor and then he met Francis. They were impressed by Ignatius' spiritual exercises. Both decided to become priests and they joined the Jesuit order. This bond went a long way in forming the Society of Jesus. Ignatius insisted on social values like love, justice, equality, liberty, and fraternity among his followers. His disciples took a vow of chastity and poverty. Then he sent Francis to India and said, Go and set all afire and alight. Francis then sailed to India and converted many people to Christianity. He became very popular among local people and traveled far and wide spreading the word of Jesus. At the time of Saint Ignatius' death, there were a thousand Jesuits and a good number of them were involved in 35 schools. He died on July 31st, 1556 and was canonized in 1622. Let us say the prayer of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Dearest, Dearest Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve. To give and not to count the cost. To fight and not to heed the wounds. To labor and not to seek rest. To give of myself and not to ask for reward. Except the reward of knowing that I am doing your will. Amen. Thank you friends for that heart touching performance. Let's dance and sing and make good cheer for the feast day comes but once a year. Yes, dance is a perpendicular expression of a horizontal desire as stated by George Bernard Shaw. So now we have a dance performance by a group of budding nobilians on the song You Are Alive in Us. Let's join our children as they rejoice in praising the Lord.
you friends it was indeed a lovely performance a blend of divine music and energetic footstep i now take this opportunity to invite our dear friend jia to reflect on the life of this noble soul ignatius of loyola venerated as saint ignatius of loyola was a spanish vascu priest and theologian who together with peter faber and francis xavier founded the religious order called the society of jesus and became its first superior general at paris in 1541 a very warm good morning to honorable principal sir vice principal sir teachers and my dear friends this is jia sinha and i am here today to present a speech on the auspicious occasion of the feast of saint ignatius of loyola Saint Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Society of Jesus, was born in 1491 into a noble, wealthy Basque family in northern Spain. His early upbringing was in a court. In 1517, he left his life at court to enter the army to be a soldier in the service of the Spanish King Ferdinand. During the first half of his life, Ignatius didn't give much thought to things of God. but was absorbed in the winning of honor as a soldier and courtier while defending the citadel of pamplona against the french ignatius was hit by a cannon ball on may 20 1521 sustaining a bad fracture on his right leg and damage to his left this event closed the first period of his life during which he was on his own admission a man given to the vanities of the world whose chief delight consisted in marital exercises with a great and vain desire to win renown during his prolonged convalescence in want of romantic books at castle ignatius seriously went through two books life of christ and lives of saints while reading these books he experienced an interior transformation that changed his whole life he was inspired by the courageous surrender of the saints to the will of god and to a life of poverty this view of life profoundly moved and attracted ignatius he forsook his possessions and decided to live a life of an ascetic in search of god he founded a model in jesus christ the inspiration of his life he prayed studied and worked hard for many years so that he could might lead others in a manner which was more fully human and more fully divine he gathered a group of young men and eventually founded the society of jesus he dedicated the last 16 years of his life in governing in finalizing the constitutions of the society in enormous correspondence and in guiding the expanding order He died at the age of 66 on July 31, 1556, which marks the feast day. May 20, 2021 marks the start of the Ignatian year and the 500th anniversary of the beginning of the enormous change in Ignatius' life. That fateful day when Ignatius the soldier, struck by a cannon ball, began his transformation into Ignatius the pilgrim. During this year we will mark the 400th anniversary of the canonization on March 12 2022 so let's celebrate this holy occasion and invoke the almighty's blessings happy feast day to all thank you of this noble soul thank you jia for that wonderful piece of information by nature dance is the expression of emotions feelings and opinions through the movement and manipulation of the body dance very often finds itself in the form of telling a story or conveying emotion through choreography so here we represent the sense of prayer in an obelian through a prayer dance on the song hosanna in the highest in praising him hosanna hosanna
that was an indefatigable performance so friends it's time to rejoice and be happy and now let's celebrate the feast of saint ignatius of loyola with a very special song happy feast day that will amplify the fervor of celebrations many fold Temporary performance. It's astonishing how many different dance forms have evolved throughout the centuries. So here we present a group dance that portrays the gracious nobilians and the belief in the Father Almighty. Based on the song, Lord will turn it around. I know my God will turn it around. I have seen my God turn it around. There are so many. Many times in my life that I have seen my God turn it around.
suffered from disappointment Have some people turn their backs on you Just keep holding on to the one who cannot disappoint I know my God will turn it around Have you suffered from disappointments? Have some people turn their backs on you Just keep holding on to the one who cannot disappoint I know, I know my, my God, God will turn, turn it around, it around. Well, for every beginning has an end. Therefore, at the culmination of the celebration, let us thank the Almighty for His benevolence that He has showered upon each one of us to make this day more meaningful and happening. Let us not forget to thank all the frontline warriors from different walks of life for their service round the clock, the sacrifice that they make every day for the safety and welfare of humanity is priceless and deserves our lifelong gratitude. We must applaud the heroic efforts of all the healthcare workers across the globe who are fighting no less than the soldiers to save the lives of COVID-19 patients despite the high risk of infections. And thereby friends, it can be rightly said. Life is an adventure, dare it. A duty, perform it. An opportunity, take it. A journey, complete it. A promise, fulfill it. A puzzle, solve it. And above all, a goal, achieve it. May the transformational force be with you. And once again, I, on behalf of the entire Dunobli family, wish you all a blessed and a very happy feast day.